You guys seem to enjoy me explaining just how strong Panda is in JJK. So now let's talk a little more about what makes this character tick in the series. And when I say that, I mean that literally since of course Panda was created and the process behind it is way more complicated than I can get into in just this short. But the short version of the story is that Principal Yagamichi has a very peculiar curse technique and process that he's learned from trial and error that allows him to create truly living cursed dolls. Something which is extremely sought after in Jujutsu society since basically anyone who learns it can create an infinite army of cursed technique users. To create Panda, Yagamichi had to raise him with a brother and sister in a world very similar to the hundred acre wood in the Winnie the Pooh mythos where Panda went through a really cute but sometimes challenging young life with his gorilla brother and triceratops sister. However, at the end of this, once the bond was formed between Panda and his siblings, the three cores of the entire group were transferred into one body with Panda never being away from them and being able to call on their power. But this explains why Panda isn't just a panda. Also, fun fact, everything he eats becomes cursed energy. So what if he ate uranium and absorbed 19 million calories?